Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are going to do an unboxing video. I don't do these very often. I've got quite a bit of stuff that I think you guys should see and I have some stuff that I need a little bit of help with. So I'm just going to pull up some items and get some opinions. First item, 118 scale Ferrari, 856. Beautiful car. Really nice model, it's got great detail. A little bit old, a little bit crusty, a little bit dated. This was sent in mainly because this door is broken. I have the door, but the little arm the door swings on snapped off, so we're gonna have to do some soldering on that. Very cool car, I'd like to go full custom on this. Obviously get away from this plastic looking interior, get into something a little bit more a little more classy, a little more custom, but this thing is very 80s. But it's got some really nice detail on the engine, a lot of chrome there. Could be a really nice model. So I think this is something we could go crazy on. So we'll get some opinions. What else we got? We got this big boy. I know this one came in from my buddy John, Hatchet. Everyone should know John by now. He sent in the Corvette, the TA. Speaking of the TA, here's the bumper for the TA. And as in regular fashion, the pubis is strong with all the cars from John. <laughs> A lot of people think I staged this. You know? Does any of that look staged? I mean, this is straight up out of the garage or wherever it came from just leave that in there to be honest this thing probably just needs a good power polish maybe take it apart clean it up power polish get some shine back into here because I don't think this one's got too much damage maybe a little bit seen a little bit of gravel some of the chrome is getting all faded up I don't know if that'll wash up or not huge potential here for an awesome custom doing some flames on something this big would be awesome but a lot of people love this Judge badging, and they would hate it if I did that to this car. So that's why I haven't touched it yet, so let me know. Even a polish and a clear coat, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But that's another cool one that came in. Up next, we got the Viper RT, which I featured in one of the car videos. I forget which one. We stuffed Big Jimmy in here. Had a good laugh. This will be a full custom. Uh, it's already been repainted. It was red at one point. I think this would look good in a, an original gray with the stripes. Or maybe a blue with the stripes or whatever. But this interior needs major work. A lot of cool decal work in this one. Unfortunately, it's on top of a gray dash. So that's probably the main reason why I haven't started on this one yet. So this is another one coming up. I'm just not quite sure what's going to happen with it. Definitely got huge potential to be something awesome. Again, beautiful detailing. I think some of this was painted by the original owner. Yeah, that's just aluminum paint on there. But it's got a really detailed drivetrain and everything, so we could go full crazy on this as well. And I got one more uh, 118th scale car that I'm scared to death to even touch. Because it's worth quite a bit of money. This bad boy was sent in, uh, I don't know, probably about six months ago. Beautiful model, Charger RT, fully detailed. I believe the person who sent this in wanted me to customize it. And it's kind of donated to the channel. But I'm scared to touch it because it's just so beautiful. I don't know how I could make it any better. You can't turn it into a General Lee because that would downgrade it. You can't turn it into the, uh, the Charger from Fast and the Furious because I think that would just make it worse. Like, How do you beat an original minty Charger RT? So anything we did to this would have to be an improvement of what's already here. And what's already here is, is pretty mint. So that's why I haven't touched this one yet. I've got way too much respect for this model to just start stripping it to do, you know, like a candy paint job or something. Like, we'd have to do something incredible with this car. Even got that big stick shift in there. Man. I don't think I've ever popped the hood on this. Let's have a look. 
No, oh, sorry, Jim. Let me see the hemi. Ooh. Blub, 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 blub. Needs plug wires right away. So it's another potential project that's got huge potential if we can figure out the right style to do it in. I'm scared to touch it until we have a solid, solid plan for it. So I wouldn't mind some opinions on this. The last thing I want to do is uh, is, is destroy it because it, it's an expensive model and it probably costs a good, you know, $40 to ship here. So we'd have to turn this into something amazing in order to even touch it. So that's something I've been thinking about on the back burner that you guys would like to see it. Definitely a little collector's item here. So I imagine the majority of you guys would say don't do anything with it, leave it alone. But, you know, that would be a shame just because the person who uh, sent it in, you know, didn't expect it to just sit on the shelf and display. They wanted me to do something with it. So I don't know. Give me some ideas. And last but not least, I got a box here that uh, has showed up in the last couple days, which kind of sparked the whole unboxing thing. About 30 cars here. And there's some cool stuff in here. Starting with this. Check this out. You guys might recognize this. It's a little matchbox. The Backyardigans. Must be some kid's show. I've never heard of it. This little Volkswagen bus is the same model that we used to make our trailer for that custom we did not too long ago. So we got a 57 Chevy, metal engine, plastic base, blue glass, which is cool. Anytime I see that blue glass, I think red line. But it's got a plastic base, so that's gonna limit our options somewhat. Got a little Datsun 240Z. Also has blue glass. Good potential little drift car. Plastic base. Looks like it might have been, a, it must be a Hot Wheels logo. I'm not sure, it's unfinished. Made in Malaysia. Got a custom little C10. Bumpers shaved. It's got a roll pan in the back. Mm, kind of ish that's got big potential 68 cougar pimp I love cougars now, is that original paint and it looks pretty orange peely I don't know we've got a sweet little hot rod here it's got to be what like a 30 something 32 Ford I don't know All these old cars look like Fords to me. You guys will have a better idea, a lot of you old guys. I don't think I'd do anything with this, it's too nice. Metal base, paint's got some good patina. It's cool how it is, I think. And here's another one, it's called Straight Pipes. I really like the cab and even the fenders and stuff. I, that engine though, I, I don't know man. It's kind of weird looking. Might not be for everybody. A little bit too fantasy for a guy like me. Good little bluebird Datsun 510, right? Yeah, 510. Pimp. Very cool little car. I really like the look of that copper. I don't know if there's much to be improved on with that particular body. And paint, it you know, looks good how it is. Maybe a wheel swap. We got this big tank. A little Corvette. It's got some really cool tribal patterns down the side of it. I really like the blue glass. Really nice and clean. Clean car. This thing looks like a, like a little collector's item. Made in Thailand. Plastic base. Beautiful car. It says hooligan on the bottom. It's 
I'm not sure if that was a series of Hot Wheels or what, but a little fuel tank in the back, missing glass. I'm assuming there should be glass or a cab or something. Definitely good for parts, if nothing else. These fenders are plastic, so keep that in mind. I think. Yeah. The base is plastic as well. It's got potential for something. This is a very cool car. A little Anglia. It's got a cool look to it already. Those wheels can uh, can go in the trash and the chrome needs a little bit of a touch up. But it's a real unique little body style. Got that little tuner vibe but I like it. We got this assault buggy. Machine guns. It's got a little POV. A little POV camera in the background. And there's probably another little it's probably a little oozy or something, but it'd be funny if it was a little camera like heh. <laughs> this bad boy I was excited about. Boom! Big impala. It's got the skirts. That's something that I think we should go crazy on the paint on. Try to do some proper lowrider paint on that. The taxi vibe is okay, but it's got big potential there. Cruising down the street in my 6.4. Pimp. Got this little Mustang. Very excited to get this car. It's the same casting that we used to make the, the Hoonicorn that one time. Metal base. My wheels were different on the other one. I'm not 100% sure if the hood opened or not, but I mean the base was exactly the same. I recognize it, how the base comes through the grill. So we got a chance here to, to make a Hoonicorn version 2, the twin turbo model, if we wanted to. These wheels should not be matched with a metal base. I don't know what's up with that and this weird 66 Nova. This thing is slammed. Pretty cool as it is. Could be better. Could be better. I love the stance on this car. Some sort of uh, primer black Ford Shelby concept. It's very nice. We got this orange base Charger RT. Check out the side scoops. You don't see that very often. Another Malaysian car. Pretty cool as it is, I'm going to be honest. Chrome interior, I can see a little stick shift in there. Orange base. Probably a nice collector's piece, I don't know if we'll take that apart, that's pretty cool. Good little Camaro concept, I think the body on this car is actually plastic. Metal base, plastic body. I don't know how much paint stripping we're going to be doing on a plastic car but that's there Ooh. classic Camaro casting be really easy to turn this into a red line looking car you know same hood same grill it's even got the side pipes sixty nine Mustang got a little bit of a fantasy vibe to it but you could fill that back end out with some big old booties make something sweet Plastic base. It's got some potential. Cool one. Blue, 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 blue. Not even sure what I'm looking at here, but it's pretty awesome. That's all I can say. A lot of Malaysian cars here. It's very interesting. Another kind of fantasy casting. Might be cool for something. Got a little matchbox mixed in. Chrome interior. Very unique. That's a beauty. I should start printing some headlight decals like that for all the cars. That looks really good. 
Yeah, we got another one of those Camaros. Got this big unit. I don't even know what it is. It's this video surveillance unit on the side. Kind of has like a little Cadillac vibe in the nose. I want to rock! 68 El Camino. Very cool. Metal base. Important. Metal base. Awesome. Another Malaysian 69 Firebird. Cool car. I don't know why, but this grill just sticks way out there in no man's land. It's kind of weird. Chrome interior, which you guys know I feel. I like that. It's flashy. Little scoopers on the side. Cool car. Plastic base. We got this bad boy. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. 64 Continental. Looks pretty good on its own. I'd be begging for a custom, if not some wheels, at the very least. Got a 1970 Hemi Challenger. Looks like it's lowered a little bit. You got the little shaker hood. It's got potential. It's kind of got that dragster vibe, just with the stance. Plastic base. Pretty nice unit. We're almost done. We got a Dodge Dart here. Bumming me out that it's got orange glass because, uh, you know, it'll never be a real looking car again. Just with that orange glass. Last but not least, we got one more of these Datsun 240s. So between all these Datsuns, surely I have the right year to build the Roadkill Rotson. Gonna have to double check. So depending on how well this video does, you know, I might do more of these unboxings in the future every now and then. I do have a couple more boxes that you guys have sent me last year that we could do videos on. One of these days I'm going to make a video, we're going to go uh, to the diecast store and I'll give you a tour of my local diecast store and we'll buy some things. So you can look forward to that in the future. Give me some hints, give me some tips on these 118 scale cars. A lot of them I just don't know what I'm doing with. I'll probably do the Viper first because I think that's going to be the easiest one. So I want to thank everybody who sent something in. It was very nice of you. Donating cars is not what I'm about. I don't want you guys to send me stuff. I got lots of cars. That's why I don't have my address posted all the time. Definitely thank you to Michael for uh, offering up a bunch of these little project cars. There should be some really cool stuff we should be able to build out of some of these cars. Anyways guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you guys want to see more of. I understand if you don't. It's fine. Or if you do. It's fine. <laughs>